Five features of my Obsidian Daily Notes workflow. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This video covers Obsidian Daily Notes and how I use it in my workflow. The Daily Notes is a feature that creates a note with the today's date in Obsidian. In my workflow, I use it for managing my research for content creation. I like the idea of a Notion-like dashboard where you can see everything in one place. So I customize the Daily Note to help me save time and keep me focused. The main components I'll cover are navigation to move between da different daily notes, checklists to tick off source reviews, writing prompts to focus my research, task manager to manage my source notes and permanent notes creation, statistics to monitor my research. By the end of the video, I'll share the ideas that I have implemented into the daily note that I hope you can adopt into your workflow. This workflow might not be perfect for everyone, but I hope it helps you design your own. If you're interested in more techniques, tools, and hacks for your workflow, please subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy the content and found it useful, please press the like button so I know to create similar content. Navigation. The first feature I'm going to show you is the navigation between daily notes. The navigation links are incorporated by two arrows, which allow me to move between previous day's note or the next day's note. The benefit of the navigation like this is you can move between daily notes quickly, allowing you to quickly check what you were working on yesterday so you can pick it up today. I found this idea on the Obsidian forums and I've implemented it in various ways. Previously, I've been using a Python script with Alfred software to create this navigation, but there is now a plugin that makes it easier. Let's look at how I set this up. First, I suggest you create some folders to house your daily notes and templates. Once you've created the folder, you need to make a new note in your template folder. You can call this anything you want. In my case, I called it daily template. To set up the daily note feature, you need to activate it in the settings. In Obsidian 0.10.7, you can find this feature under core plugins. Once activated, you need to go to plugin options and then to daily notes. Here, you have to set up the date format of your note. The daily note uses the date format as the file name. I use the default format. You also need to add a folder for where to keep your daily notes and the location of your daily note template you want to use. Once configured, you need to install a third party plugin called Templator. Templator plugin has many features that help you dynamically update your daily note. Once installed, you need to go to Templator plugin option in settings. Here, you need to enter the template folder's location. Once set up, you need to open up the daily note template. The Templator plugin looks for keywords and replaces them with a derived value. In this case, it's looking for the TP underscore yesterday and TP underscore tomorrow keywords. The double squiggly brackets enclose these keywords. Where it sees these values, it will populate the daily note with yesterday's and tomorrow's date respectively. Enclosing them in double square brackets creates a link to other daily notes with that date as the file name. These links allow us to move between daily notes. Checklists. I've also created a checklist of the sources that I want to review. In this case, I check YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, Medium, Feedly, and Readwise. When I review the sources, I update the checklist so I can return to the incomplete ones. I've also automated YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, and Medium using IFTTT. This software can look for content that I liked or upvoted in these sources and combine them into a single Google Sheet. From Google Sheet, I review sources and add them to Obsidian. The benefit of doing this is it allows reviewing source throughout the day on my phone and lets me list out the ones that resonate with me into my Obsidian vault. Feedly has a similar role, aggregating all my RSS feeds, allowing me to look for content in one place. Finally, Readwise brings together all my tweets, threads, website highlights, and Kindle book highlights all in one place. Writing prompts. While researching different sources, I have writing prompts to help me identify content that resonate with me. Using these prompts helps me focus on the task in hand instead of wandering around aimlessly. Over time, these prompts have become more focused to help me generate new content. It also helps me avoid capturing unnecessary content, which may result in my list of source notes becoming saturated. My goal is to populate three of these prompts every day. If I have time, I create source notes for these items that I captured. I also come up with new ideas for content which will become permanent notes in my vault. Finally, I write up the notes or quick ideas in the general thoughts section. The general thoughts section is where I dump whatever I'm thinking about based on the themes of source notes that have resonated with me. Often, I use these as my tweets on my Twitter feed, which is at Civ underscore UK. 
Task Manager. One of the new features that I've started using is Query Blocks. Query Blocks let me tag nodes and write a search query to bring those tag nodes back within a node. Using the tags this way was a feature I saw on the Brian Jenks YouTube channel. I've put a link below for more details on Query Blocks from his channel. I have four different types of query block search with different emoji tags. I use inbox emoji for new ideas and contents, a checkmark bots emoji for creating new source notes and tracking them, a writing emoji for tracking my permanent notes, a burn emoji for tweets that I would like to send. Let's have a look at this in action. So in my prompts, I usually tag items with an inbox emoji. The tag tells me this is a source content that needs to be processed. I use the emoji toolbar plugin to add the emoji. Once you tag an item, you create a query block like this. Once completed, you can press the preview button to run the search. The query block lists out all the notes that meet that criteria. From here, you can open up notes as you wish. Statistics. Another component I started this year was tracking the number of source notes compared to the permanent notes. I wanted to track this as I was worried I was kept focusing on source notes rather than coming up with new ideas. I've been working on trying to align three source notes to one permanent note ratio. If I move out of this ratio, I refocus on the weaker area. A simple way to track this could be in the form of a table you maintain manually and embed it in your daily notes. I went a step further and also managed to automate the table population and create a chart when a daily note is open. To do this, I used a Python script, which calculated the number of notes and created a markdown table text and created a line graphed image. To run this script, I used the Templator plugin. Let's have a look at this. In the Templator plugin, you can create a template script. In the settings, I created a keyword name run stats with two squiggly brackets. In the next section of the template, I put the location of the Python command and the Python script that I wanted to run. In your daily note template, you need to add the keyword you used previously. Each time I create a daily note, the templater plugin will run the script where it finds that keyword. If there is a print command in the Python script, it will display that within the daily note. I will not explain the Python script itself in detail, but if you want to know how I did this, let me know in the comments. I have plans for other Python scripts to integrate data from different sources to help me improve my dashboard and statistics. The daily note feature of Obsidian helps me improve my efficiency and focus. The daily note also becomes a dashboard using third-party plugins and scripting to get me started when I log on. Critical features for me are the navigation between different notes, the checklist, writing prompts to help me focus, a task manager to organize my research, and statistics to keep me on track. Let me know what other features you have applied to your daily notes in the comments below. If you're interested in more techniques, tools, and hacks for your workflow, please subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy the content and found it useful, please press like button so I know to create some more content. Thanks for watching.